What's up guys? Today we're going to look under the hood of the Honda Fit and look at what we need to check as part of a monthly preventative maintenance plan to keep our car running in top shape. So to open the hood, we're going to pop the hood release, which is located here in the driver's foot well. Next, to pop the hood, we need to release the hood latch. Now in the fit, just look for the middle of the H, go slightly to the right, and we have this hood release. And we're just going to push it to the left and open the hood. And now next, we need to prop our hood up. We have this rod right here, and we're just going to gently unattach it and put it over here on the left side to hold up our hood. And do be gentle as these plastic parts here do look a little fragile and you could easily break this thing. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna check and in my opinion, the most important is the engine oil. So to check the engine oil, we're gonna pull this yellow tab. It's very visible here in the fit and we're just gonna pull it straight out and we're gonna check this oil for two things the color and the level. Now first, we can take a look at the color and we can see that this oil is a little blackened. So we're just gonna wipe it with this clean paper towel. Now the oil changing color is actually a good thing. It's actually a sign that the oil is working. The dispersants and the oil are capturing the dirty particles from the combustion in the engine. And this is about the color we expect after about four or 5,000 miles. And we can, for the most part, rely on the oil percentage meter in the dash of the car, but it still doesn't hurt to check it yourself. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And if it's looking particularly dirty, I will try to change it a little earlier, maybe even if the percentage is still 20 or 30 percent. Okay, next to check the level of the oil, we're going to wipe the whole dipstick down good so it's all clean and we're going to stick the dipstick back in and pull it out again. Now We're going to want to make sure that the engine was not running, the engine's totally cold and that we're on a flat surface. That's going to ensure that we have the most accurate reading. Okay, so we're going to pull out and we're gonna look at the level of the oil on this orange thing. Now the oil should be between these two marks here and you can see my oil is about here. Now one complaint I've read is people have a hard time reading this level, especially when their oil is clean. So you do have to kind of just turn it in the light uh, to see where that level is. But you should be able to make out where the dipstick is wet and where it's dry if you look closely. Now if our level is anywhere between those two lines we should be good but if it's towards the low side we should add some oil. Now that's a topic for another video but it is important to keep our oil level good. We can lose oil in the engine due to two things either through a leak or through burning off oil and even well running engines will burn a little bit of oil, particularly if you're running the engine hard. So definitely be aware to check your oil level. Okay, now the second thing we're gonna check is the battery, which is located right here in the Honda Fit. And we're gonna check the battery for two things. First, any corrosion or acid showing up near the term terminals, which will be a whitish greenish powdery thing. And if we see corrosion, we're just gonna wipe it away with our paper towel or our rag. Now that's the negative terminal, the positive is here, and we can e expose the positive terminal just by lifting this up like this. So we don't see any buildup on this battery, but that is because I do a pretty good job of cleaning it every month or few months. If you leave it for a, a few years, it is likely that you'll have some buildup for you to clean up. Okay, so the next thing we want to check is just that these terminals are tight. So we can just wiggle it a little bit and it is safe to touch these um, as long as you don't connect the two sides with anything metal like a wrench. Um, so we can just wiggle, you know, these, make sure that's tight. 
um, and make sure the battery is stable as well. Now, the next thing we're going to check is our coolant level, and we're going to check that in two places, the radiator, and the radiator cap is here, and we're also going to check the reserve reservoir, which on the fit is tucked all the way underneath here. Now, first we're going to want to check the level in our reserve reservoir, which is a little bit hard to see, but if we get in here, we can see that this line right here is the max line and then down all the way here right there is the minimum line and it's hard to see but my level is actually right there a little bit below the minimum so i am going to have to top this off now this isn't a huge deal but if our level is low in our actual radiator we're definitely going to want to top that off immediately now to check our radiator level we're going to open the cap and we're just going to turn the cap counterclockwise and it's going to turn a little more than 90 degrees and then we're going to lift up. And it's a little hard to see but we can see our coolant level is right up to the top there. And now if your reserve reservoir level was fine and especially if your car is still pretty new, you may not need to check the level in your actual radiator every month. My theory on that is by opening and closing this a lot, that may actually wear out your radiator cap. If you guys have any opinion on that, post a message in the comments below. Now the fourth thing we're going to check is our brake fluid and our brake fluid reservoir, which is right here. Now we can also check this without removing the cap and it's a little hard to see, but our max line is gonna be right here, and our minimum line is gonna be all the way down here. And our level is right here, so our brake fluid is good. And the final thing we're gonna check is our windshield washer fluid level, which is right here. And the fit does have a low windshield wiper fluid level light, on the dash, but I still like to check myself under the hood because it's really easy in the fit. In some cars, this whole thing is hidden, but in the fit, we can see it. And we can see that my level is about right here. You can see the blue fluid, although it's a little hard to see from this angle. And the advantage of checking it ourselves under the hood is we can monitor the exact level and how much windshield washer fluid we're using so we have a better idea of when we need to refill it. So that's the five main things you want to check under your hood monthly in the Honda Fit. It should be really easy, just take you about five minutes and requires no tools and it should go a long way for keeping your car running good and minimizing any unexpected repairs. Now I should note there's no transmission fluid dipstick in this car, so we can't check that easily unless we get under the car. And there are some other things we could check under the hood, such as the air filter. I do have a separate tutorial on that, but I don't usually check that every, every month. So the final thing I like to do in my monthly check is just wipe down the engine bay with a rag and some water. And I also use this time to check for any leaks or anything that looks unexpected in the engine bay. For example, between the valve cover and the engine block in the Honda Fit, it's just exposed right here. So just run my fingers along there and see if I see any oil buildup. So our engine's looking pretty good. Of course, it's a little dirty, that's normal. And an advantage of doing this regularly, if one month you see your engine's a lot dirtier, well, then you can try to check, track down if you have a leak somewhere or, you know, take it to a mechanic to help you. So that's just what I do. If you guys agree or disagree, post a comment on what you guys do. Hopefully this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like. Click on the playlist on the screen to see my other Honda Fit videos and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.